Good evening, class. For today's lesson, we're going to be discussing the downfall of Kylie Jenner. But after launching another random business and getting caught doing ads for a weird mobile game called Travel Town, the allegations are that Kylie is broke. Her shit is going under. Like, what happened to, to Kylie's skin? What happened to Kylie Baby? And now Kylie Cosmetics is, is, is about to be no more because people talk about they see this shit in TJ Maxx. Kylie Jenner has gone broke. She is struggling to pay her bills, so she is selling her mansion for dirt cheap. Kylie is also trying to save her cosmetics line by fooling customers with new collections featuring recycled products. She's also been releasing a lot of new products and starting up new brands like a fashion line, a vodka beverage line. She's even promoting Instagram spam game ads. There's a lot going wrong with Kylie Jenner's brand and she's headed for a downward spiral. So let's get into it. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Kylie Jenner has been known as the most successful Kardashian Jenner sister, but it turns out her success might be running out. The internet thinks that Kylie Jenner is having financial troubles amid multiple product launches. Now, Kylie Jenner and the rest of the Kardashian clan have been known for releasing new brands, new products, and it seems like they're trying to make money at any point in any way that they can, which good for them for being business women, but sometimes there are red flags. At the end of 2023, Kylie dropped her first clothing label titled Kai. It was marketed as a low-priced luxury brand in which she teamed up with designers for each new collection. Months later, Kylie launched her very first fragrance titled Cosmic in March 2024. I actually heard about her fragrance happening because my ex-boyfriend used to work in corporate in the fragrance world and let's just say that they had conversations which I, th I thought was really interesting but of course I wasn't going to say anything until it was actually released. But then two weeks later, she launches Sprinter, which is a ready to drink vodka beverage, which I think is interesting coming from Kylie because I don't imagine her as a big partier. So I don't really understand why she would have a drink. Kind of reminds me of like JLo, like why is she releasing wine when she's sober? So it seems like another opportunity for Kylie to just slap her name onto a product that she probably had no, you know, intention of like really investing in. She's just using her name as Kylie. Kylie Jenner to sell Sprinter. Social media has been abuzz with speculation regarding Kylie's financial status, sparking various conspiracy theories about possible undisclosed financial challenges. Adding to the intrigue, questions about the extent of her wealth arose during her mansion situation, as she's apparently eager to sell her $18 million mansion with her ex, Travis Scott. Of course, she wouldn't want to have a home with her ex, but this really was just Kylie's house, and she's been dropping the price really trying to get it off her hands which makes people question is she desperate for the money or is she desperate just to get rid of the house because you know if a smart move would be to sit on it and wait until the market got better i think that these celebrities are not as wealthy as we think they are especially kylie jenner not that kylie jenner is like struggling or anything i don't think she's like close to being homeless but i think that she lives well beyond her means and that's why she has a new business venture every three to five days and it's why she keeps coming out with random businesses she needs money to upkeep her lifestyle because she lives well beyond her means all of the people that work for her that she has to pay the nannies the publicists all of the people that work for her businesses i read she had like 10 cars or something she is not passionate about any of this stuff she's throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks so she can make a buck off of you now this is interesting to watch because we see kim kylie's sister go off and you know create these businesses and she's been pretty good at it i mean it seems like skims is something she's passionate about i mean thinking about it even courtney seems passionate about lemmy and uh her poosh and actually i'll be at the poosh camp this weekend uh uh, Coachella so wish me luck but Kylie for instance doesn't have that same drive that Kimberly may have and it does seem like she's really slapping her name onto anything to see if it sticks because she really doesn't care about any of these lines at the end of the day so did you guys hear the theory that Kylie Jenner is going bankrupt allegedly and that allegedly Kylie Cosmetics is closing down and that's why she's made like three new kinds of brands in the last month because I've been hearing about that nonstop for like two weeks at this point now, I must admit, I haven't heard anything about Kylie Jenner's cosmetic line in a very long time. I mean, she's got a billboard here in West Hollywood that she's leased for like a decade. 
that continues to promote it. But other than that billboard, no one talks about her makeup. To add to this, Kylie posted a cringy Instagram ad that helped confirm to fans that she's, you know, going broke, which again, she's far from broke, but she might not be as rich as she wants us to think. This article reads so cringy. Kylie Jenner promotes mobile game in random video as baffled fans wondered if money is tight for the star. You know, Kylie and the Kardashians, they're very much about upkeeping their image and their brand and their reputation. So to promote a mobile game, which, you know, I love a good mobile game sponsor. I will take any sponsorship anytime. You know, we've got to pay the bills out here. So sponsorships my email is sloan well known at gmail.com let's work out something but kylie jenner she's a multi-millionaire so why is she posting this ad on her instagram saying i keep getting all of these uh game ads and i'm not really a gamer but i remembered this one game travel town she goes on to say that she's been hooked onto this game app but do you really believe it do you even think she's played it before okay so i keep getting all of these game ads and i'm not really a gamer but remember this name travel town when they asked me to partner with them i had my doubts but now i'm hooked so let me show you it's a match and merge game i'm gonna find things to match and then you make something even prettier find more things to match okay i'm gonna tap on the lightning to make more and then i'm just gonna keep finding matches to make all these Ooh. Now go ahead and get your money, Kylie. I think all the creators should do all the sponsors because I'm trying to like manifest, you know, wealth for everyone because it's hard out here. I mean, especially in the social media world, but Kylie seems like someone who doesn't really need the sponsorship. I mean, does she? I mean, how much do you think they could have paid her to do this? Because it does seem very off brand for this family, but also Keep in mind, they were the type of people who would promote that slim, fast tea, that skinny, flat tummy tea. So um, maybe they will do anything if the price is right. Kylie Jenner is making social ads for mobile games. This can mean either one of three things. One, Kylie's broke. Two, Kylie isn't broke, but got offered a massive payday for this. Or three, brands just can't find UGC creators. What do you guys think? Do you think she was just offered so much money that she couldn't say no? I mean, I, I, I could imagine it if it could like pay for her kid's college. Not that her kid, I don't know, maybe her kids would go to college. But can you imagine being a Kardashian Jenner going to college and your dad is Travis Scott? I mean, it just seems like a lot. This person wrote on Reddit, it's crazy how much media training and practice they have and this ad is still so bad. Another person wrote, the cash flow must be slowing down. Another commented, there's no way that Kylie has as much money as she says she does if she's doing stuff like this. A fourth person commented, flop era continues a downward trajectory. To support these claims of Kylie going broke, fans revisit Kylie's other businesses and their fails and the decline in popularity. Because as I said earlier in this video, I mean, I used to hear about Kylie Cosmetics and I don't really hear about it anymore. This report writes that Kylie Jenner fans are tired of the star's new brand after she shares sultry pictures from Kai Party. Now, I do remember when Kylie came out with her luxury brand and it's all this leather. It looks really heavy. It looks sweaty. I'm sorry. It's just not my vibe. It doesn't look like it's their vibe either. This person wrote, she, Kylie Jenner, is trying to hype up this brand because no one else is. Another added, stop trying to make Kai a thing. I'm already tired of it. In response to Kai Cosmetics, this person wrote, I feel like Kylie Cosmetics was something she was really passionate about. And this one feels forced because no one cares about her business anymore. But she has to put something out because that's one of Chris's, her mother's, Ten Commandments. And maybe that's a fact that Kylie doesn't care about this brand because she's been accused of stealing other people's work. So she's really just slapping her name on it. Jessica Johansson Bell of the company Johansson posted a video blasting Kylie for copying one of her signature collections. Jessica is actually collecting collaborated with Kylie in the past, so Kylie is familiar with Jessica's work. Explaining the situation, Jessica said a lot of friends and followers were messaging her about Kylie's new post because the dress was so similar to her collection. Many assumed that they were working together again. Um, guys, am I tripping or did Kylie Jenner just rip off my entire collection? So my name's Jess. I own the brand Johansson and I've had Johansson for like 10 years now. And we launched a collection so similar to the collection she launched, but we launched ours like 
three or four years ago and it's been our signature range ever since. I've been getting like so many DMs from customers and friends and family just being like, is this your dress? Oh my God, you collaborated with Kylie, like congratulations and all of these messages. And I'm looking at it and we've, we've dressed Kylie before. So I just thought it was old stuff. Eventually after getting so many DMs, I started looking into it and took a dive and I was so shocked. Now, I'm not a big fashionista, but it makes sense why Jessica was so shocked because looking at this dress, I mean, it looks almost identical. There's really no changes to it. So it does seem like maybe once upon a time, Kylie wore a dress like this and decided to recreate it for her own brand without giving credit to this original artist, which seems like very much Jenner Kardashian fashion to take something, claim it as their own, but you know, not give any credit. These people commented a billionaire and it's still not enough for her. That's just plain greed. Another person wrote, I legit thought it was Jessica's dress when I first saw it. Another person wrote, I wasn't prepared for how identical they are. Jessica reached out to Kylie to get some clarity, but she was not impressed by their response. She said, I reached out to their team and they got back pretty quickly. They said they developed these designs through their team's hard work and innovation, which I was like, well, if you look up the meaning of innovation, that means new idea. And this dress was not a new idea. Of course, Jessica Jessica wasn't going to let them go this easily. On her Instagram story, she broke down some of the similarities between the two products, pointing out that Kylie even used the same fabric composition as their dresses, 95% polyester and 5% spandex. And maybe that's a coincidence, but it's really not. I mean, it actually seems like they almost had this product in front of them, read the tag, looked at the design and just created the same thing. And it makes me wonder if all of Kai's pieces, Kylie's collection are just those products like other products from other smaller brands just remade and with Kylie's name on it. So of course with stories like this the brand Kai isn't going to go far because the reputation isn't going to be great. There's nothing new about them. If you want to go and get that dress go and get a Jessica you know Johansson original. As far as Sprinter her vodka drink They've been quoted saying that it looks like she is um, jumping into the industry because there's a demand for her to do so. Kylie said Sprinter is her answer to the growing consumer demand for quality canned cocktails, which I must admit, I have not tried it yet, but I'm not the biggest seltzer fan. I'm more of a wine guy. Now, this isn't anything new for the Kardashians. I mean, Travis Scott had his cacti line, which was like a canned like tequila beverage like sprinter travis's hard seltzer brand cacti carries four flavors strawberry tropical fruit pineapple mango and lemon lime he actually quietly relaunched the brand i remember the brand was down for a while but he relaunched it this year because he's been coming back ever since the astro world controversy hours after kylie announced sprinter travis scott decided to be shady and posted a photograph of his cacti drinks on his instagram story writing nothing better so I don't know why Travis is in a mood, but uh, maybe he didn't know that Sprinter was coming out and he wanted to remind everyone that his was better than Kylie's. Fans also point out that Kylie Swim was a flop. This was a product that she released and all of the garments were way too small. The product itself was way too thin to be worn in the pool. She also released a line called Kylie Baby, which was supposed to be, I guess, like a children's line. These are brands that Kylie just gave up on. I mean, even her swim line doesn't even have Instagram posts anymore. So they just really clocked out. This person wrote on Twitter, the quality of Kylie Jenner's swim line is so cheap. I'm so disappointed. Fans point out that Kylie Cosmetics is on a downward spiral and they are recycling their products. They're no longer relevant and they are tired of launches. This person tweeted that I feel like Kylie uses her status to make a massive profit on real Really just mediocre products. Her skincare was awful in my opinion. Her swim line is so poorly made and cheap. I don't know if that's just me. It feels like a cash grab and she knows people will buy it because she's Kylie Jenner. Now when Kylie Jenner released Kylie Cosmetics, I think it was so successful because it was innovative. She did care about it. She was passionate about it. She hated her little dippy lips, her little tiny lips and she wanted those big duck lips. Her mom said you have to go easy with the filler. She didn't want to go easy so she decided to paint around it until she could fill it out uh, at the doctor's office. So um, she was passionate and we saw that and we loved it. We bought it. I mean, I didn't buy it. I don't wear lip <laughs> kits, but um, yeah, we bought it and we supported her. 
but now everything else just doesn't feel authentic and, and Kylie Cosmetics has just gotten way too saturated. Kylie Jenner's recent Valentine's makeup collection has sparked controversy after fans accused her of recycling the same products over and over. Many fans were quick to voice their opinions on the appearance of Kylie's new products with many noting that they seem similar to her other past collections. Another person complained about the formula saying their lipsticks need to be perfected. I went out the other night with a combo of a lip kit and it looked like I had crumbs at the end of the night. They said it dries up into patches and looks gross, which ugh, just sounds so nasty. Imagine like these crummy little makeup pieces, like, you know, building up on your lip and then you, you swallowing them. I can't. Society's over it. They don't care about it anymore. It was fun while it lasted. Now everyone's broke as shit, especially because COVID. Inflation is high as hell. And sorry, but no one can afford a $25 lip kit anymore. I'm sorry. Nobody's buying your $25, $30 lip kit anymore. They're buying the $6 lipstick from NYX that works just as well, if not 10 times better. So it seems like Kylie Jenner needs to go and check out that one TikToker guy, the one that's like, I have a master's degree in marketing and I think he's in Canada and needs to listen to her because it seems like she's just not creating products that are niche enough for her and that, um, really change the market. I mean, wouldn't it be better just to have like one really amazing brand that people love? I mean, I feel like that's what Skims kind of is right now. I mean, I haven't heard of KKW like makeup or skin or whatever it is in a long time. So I feel like Skims is kind of doing well. The Lemmy with the pills, the gummies, that's doing pretty well. Chloe's just annoying. <laughs> okay, I know we all love Chloe, I guess, right? We all love Chloe and her jeans. I think actually I was with Spill Sash the other day and she was wearing some. And she was like, these are Chloe, Good American. And they were cute. Good for her. I mean, I'm not wearing no Good Americans. but And I'm not chewing no Lemmy's. But I've heard people like them. So comment below if you like them. Because maybe I'll get on them. I really want like some appetite suppressant gummies. I bought like a bunch of apple cider ones from Amazon. But I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.